In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the online IDE that we can use to make our Solidity contracts and test them fast. So you need to open remix.ethereum.org. Here we can see a sample contract that is already written out for us. However, we're going to write down our own contract to start out. Now I would want you to click on the plus sign here on the top left hand side of the website. Give whatever name you like for the Solidity file. I will name mine Messenger. As we discussed in the previous lecture, on top of every Solidity file, we need to specify the so-called version Pragma. So type Pragma Solidity up arrow 0.4.24. And just below that, we're going to define our contract. Type Contract Messenger curly brackets. On the first line we're going to define a variable address called owner. In the next lecture we're going to talk more about variables, so just bear with me here. On the next line we're going to define array of strings called messages. Just below our declared variables we're going to define a constructor. Type constructor opened in close brackets public and open and closed curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, we're going to type a owner equals msg.sender. This line will define the owner as the person who has deployed the contract. On the new line, we're going to define a function add with input variables of a string called new message. The visibility of the function is public and we will open and close curly brackets. Inside the brackets, we're going to type the following. Require open bracket msg.sender equals equals owner close the brackets. This line will prevent anyone who is not the owner of the contract to add messages to the array of messages. Just below this, we're going to type a messages.push open bracket, new message, close bracket. This line will add a new message to the array of messages. Below that, we're going to define a function called count, which is a view public function and returns an unsigned integer. Inside the curly brackets, we're going to return messages.length, which will return the number of messages inside the array. Below this, we're going to define one last function called getMessages. This is going to take a variable uint called index. The function will be a view public function and it will return a string. Inside of the function, we're going to return the message with the index we give to the function. Ok, so now we're ready to compile our contract and deploy it to the virtual network. We need to click here on the Compile tab and then on Start to Compile. If we have any errors or warnings, we will see here some notifications in yellow and red. They are very explicit and it will help you find your errors and correct them. We get a messenger in green, which means that we don't have any errors in our code. Ok, now we can go on the Run tab over here. Here on the top, we have a drop-down menu called Environment. We have three choices, JavaScript VM, Injected Web3, Web3 and to Web3 Provider. We're going to choose the JavaScript Virtual Machine. Below this, we have five virtual Ethereum wallets. After that, the gas limit for the transactions and below that, the Ethereum in ways which we want to send to the function. Below this, we have a drop-down of the contracts that we have in the Solidity file. For now, we have only one contract called Messenger, so we select this and we click Deploy. Now here we can see that we have deployed our contract successfully and we have access to the following functions. Add, Count and Get Message. In the debugger console over here, you can see some more details about the deployment. You can see that status of the transaction is success, 
you can also see the contract address, who deployed the contract and other details about the gas and the inputs. Ok, so now let's try to add a message to our messenger. Let's type here first message in quotes. Just don't forget to, to type the quotes because otherwise you'll get an error. This is just how uh, string inputs work on Remix. Now let's click on the add button and see what happens. As you can see we, we have our transaction as a success. We gave the input to the function messenger.add and we have our address here. Now we can also check the count uh, that we have already. Let's click on the count button here. We have one message in our messenger. Now let's try to return this message from the other function. Type 0 in the get message function and hit on the button. Here you can see that we had a call function which gave us the output of the new message. However, if we try to return an index that does not exist, we're going to get an error. Let's try to type 1 and press the get message button again. Here you can see that we have an error of invalid OP code. I want to show you one more thing. Remember that we restricted the add function to be usable only by the contract owner here, right? Now let's change the account to another one and try to add a message. Let's type test message in quotes and hit the add button again. As you can see, we get an error of revert. This transaction stopped here and did not let us push any messages to the messenger because we are not the owners and uh, this prevents uh, certain functions to be executed from someone else that's not the owner of the contract. Ok, so now you have created your first contract with Solidity and you got familiar with the Remix ID a little bit. Now let's continue with our lectures and get more in depth with Solidity.